Hi, I'm Marley Dias. I'm 14 years old and I'm the founder of the 1000 Black Girl Books campaign. I think representation and diversity in books is really important because it allows for kids to relate to characters and feel motivated to read. So when you read a book, you enjoy it because of the storyline, the plot, and the ideas. And if it feels as though the ideas do not connect to your story or experiences, it can frustrate you and demotivate you to want to read. So I really wanted black girls to be able to see themselves because of the power and confidence and motivation it gives them to want to read their stories more, to live more experiences, and to be excited and confident about their own identities. The 1000 Black Girl Books campaign has grown tremendously over the past you know, three years so far. I have grown from being a 10 year old who was just really excited to read and love books and wanted to have more diverse books to a person that has started to lead a global movement about the, the need for um, curriculums that represent diverse characters, specifically black girls. So we've gone digital, we have a resource guide that includes thousands of the titles that we've collected so that people can buy these books and I published a book called Marley Dias Gets It Done and So Can You. In my opinion, a game changer right now is Marce Martin. She is an executive producer of the movie Little that's coming out April 12th. And she's a friend of mine and she was actually one of the original supporters of doing um, a literacy tour where we went around encouraging kids to read uh, in collaboration with the Obama White House. So she's a huge friend of mine and I think the work she's doing and being an executive producer at 14 and at 15 is just amazing and she's a wonderful person to be around. I think my favorite book of all time is Another Brooklyn by Jacqueline Woodson. I read it about two summers ago, and I think it really encapsulates what friendship means as a teenager, and it's taught me a lot. And I consider Jacqueline Woodson a part of my family, and she supported the campaign so much. So reading a story that I really connected to from a person that I really love is really special. I think the biggest piece of advice I'm able to give to younger girls is to be open about their frustrations and to use their passions as fuel for their greater fights for equity or for change or for justice. So if you like basketball, if you like singing, if you like painting, use those gifts and those talents to create positive change in the world. And that's what I try to encourage with all kids and especially with young black girls. Being the youngest person on the Times like 25 under 25 list this year has been so amazing. I literally cried my eyes out. I was like, oh my gosh, this is not real. And um, I'm so grateful to be on that list and I'm thankful for time. And I never thought that was gonna happen, but um, I did a time interview a couple days before, but nobody told me what the interview was for. And then when I found out, I was like, you guys are sneaky because I, then I was on the list. And I just think it's awesome and it's a huge platform to be noticed by time and to get the, their support online. So I'm just really happy about it. And it still makes me happy. So currently, with regards to the 1000 Black Girl Books campaign, we are working on increasing the amount of books on the resource guide where you can find these titles, and we're also working on creating an app. So we want to make sure that these books that you can find, whether they're on Amazon or they're Barnes & Noble or they're self-published, you can still go and buy them and support these authors that are telling in stories that are important to greater diversity and greater education on the experiences of black girls. So Marley Dias Gets It Done and So Can You is a guide for kids 10 and older to be able to use their gifts and talents to make the world a better place. I talk about fashion, I talk about going to Ghana, I talk about my family, I talk about the Grassroots Community Foundation, which is the foundation that helped me start this work. And I really try to give you, you know, a mix of what my life is, but also a guide to becoming an activist and being able to speak out on things you feel passionate about. So the Grassroots Community Foundation is a public health and social action organization and they're focused on creating a world where all girls can grow up to be healthy women. So this is founded by my mom and it's not just because of my mom that I've been able to do this work but because of a group of amazing women and trailblazers that are a part of Grassroots um, and they've always encouraged me to speak out on things I feel passionate about and they have a program called Super Camp for young black girls in my area in New Jersey um, for kids that are going into first grade from kids that are leaving eighth grade and we try to encourage them to learn about leadership development, their community, and they follow the principles of Ma'at. 
So Ma'at is an ancient um, Kemetic or ancient Egypt um, belief in which we believe a lot about balance. So truth, order, balance, and reciprocity. So we teach over the course of the four weeks about how they can use these skills to become the best leaders they can be and to unlock their potential. So a lot of it is about you know developing this black girl magic we talk about, the black girl excellence, and Grassroots and Super Camp has helped me do that. I am Marley Dias and I am a game changer.